Welcome back, this is the Amachak. Today we've got Gunslinger Ash with Asylum Suicide. And I have a theory. I have a theory that the random selection of games, the random selection of maps, is not random at all, but instead is like alphabetical. That's my theory. That's my theory. Maybe that's what it is, literally. And I'm just dumb. Um, maybe it's a playlist and not uh, a selection. I don't know. I always thought it was random, but I'm, I'm beginning to think that perhaps I was wrong. And it's just alphabetical, because we often get a lot of the low, you know, early letters, right? Ashwood Asylum, Biolabs, Biotics Lab, Farmhouse. Don't really get, uh, I don't get custom maps. I thought maybe we'd get custom maps in the random from time to time. We really don't, which is, like, kind of annoying. Um, yeah, not really, I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> don't really, don't really get any, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll see if there's a way to, to get, like, a better random, because this random just doesn't feel random to me. It, it, it uh, definitely has a bias, I would, uh, I would say, for sure. I, I would, I would definitely count this as, as having a bias, without, uh, without question. So my additional Oculus Quest that's coming in the mail. I might have uh, managed to sell it off to some family. I'm not sure. Everybody in my house. I, I offered it to everybody, and they're all like, I don't know, I'll think about it. I'm like, well, first come, first serve. I don't care who gets it, okay? It's here in, like, four days. <laughs> You're either taking it or I'm returning it then. You know? Like, that's that's the options. Whoever whoever wants it can, can feel free to pay me for it, but... Because everybody in my house has tried it, and they're all very pro VR now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an experience unlike any other for sure. So uh, everybody wants one now. Everybody wants one. It's, I feel like that's kind of the way it goes, right? I feel like that's kind of the way that it typically goes. Is is you know one person gets a VR headset, and then everybody around them tries it, and everybody around them is like, "Wow, I want this." And then everybody around them is like, wow, that's expensive. I'm not getting that. <laughs> uh, but with the Oculus Quest, that's, that, that, uh, that problem has kind of been resolved. Uh, it's, it's reasonably affordable, as, as I discussed previously. It's not a very expensive hobby, even, relative to, to other hobbies that you might have. Before it was, you know, before you had to get, like, a $1,000 headset, you know. Welcome to... Uh, Oh my god, I do not want to die. I don't want to die. I like winning games. Um, you know, you have to get, uh... Thousand dollars for the headset, and then like, fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars for the... For the, uh, computer to run it. And then you'd have like, an okay experience. Nowadays, you get, like, you know, like the first, the, the first VR headsets. You know, like the Oculus, um... Rift and the Vive, you know, like those, those, those initial headsets. Like now, you get the the Quest Two, four hundred bucks, doesn't require any PC hardware, and it's a better experience than the Vive ever would be. Could I ever aspire to be just on its own, four hundred bucks, boom, there you go, better experience. Outside of the head strap, but like you know, whatever. Even the Vive had a upgraded delete. You know, deluxe head strap. But, um... It's very, very affordable now. It's definitely a luxury. You know, I'm not saying uh, everybody can afford VR, but... I, I, I think that... I mean, I'll be honest with you, if you're watching this video, VR probably fits within your budget now. Just, just, like, if you have the ability to have, like, an internet connection, and then, like, a TV or a computer or a phone or something to be watching this video on. Good chance, very good chance, that uh, an Oculus Quest 2 fits within your budget if you, you save up for, like, a year or two. That's not, that's not to say that everybody should get one, although I definitely think that, uh... A lot of people definitely should. We, we should see more people on VR just to expand the player base to make more VR games a thing. Like, what happens oftentimes is uh, you end up with, with developers who are just not willing to put in the like time and money 
to making games because there just isn't enough of an audience. And even when they do, you'll end up paying for the game, like Population 1, which is like a, a battle royale on uh, in VR. Uh, they have, it's like a $30 game, and it has microtransactions in it. And they're like, yeah, like that's what we need to have to pay to develop this game because there just aren't enough players playing to, to be able to actually pay for the servers and development costs and everything off of just the microtransactions. Like, it, it, the, they're both necessary. Uh, and they're not pay to win, so I'm, I'm in favor of them anyway, but... Just, just having a bigger player base is going to make such an enormous difference to the kind of content that, that we can get just by nature of there being more of a, a potential audience and it being worth investing more money and time into it as a studio. Um, but that's not the point. The point isn't that everybody should get VR, but that I think it's within the realms where anybody who was previously like, man, I really want to get a VR headset, but I can't really justify spending that much money. I think we're in a time now where the main stopping point here is your personal ability to save money and not spend it on things that you don't need, like coffee and chips and stuff, you know? Which, fine, if, if, if you want to get your coffee and chips or whatever, like, okay. But, like, you know, that, that's that's basically what it comes down to, right? Or your your inability to accept uh, Facebook's, like, forced login, which also very reasonable. Um, but I don't think that it really comes down to it being unreasonably priced. There's no more early adopter fee, you know? Like, the people who first got their uh, Oculus... Uh, rifts or whatever they were called and then the the HTC vibes you know like those early early prototype basically models which were fun I'm sure to the people who had it like I can't think of any way that Beat Saber wouldn't be fun even if you were to drag the resolution down to like zilch <laughs> like, it's just a really fun game um, I think it's actually my favorite game Beat Saber is my favorite game I would I would I would call it my favorite game now yeah um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, you paid the early adopter fee with that. Now I think that early adopter fee is gone. It's no longer early. You know, it's there's, there's like, a, a mid-range adopter fee now. Eventually it'll be even more affordable, but, but right now it's, 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 it's ready and willing to be sold to the masses. And that's shown with, like, the sales of, uh, the Oculus Quest 2 as well. I mean, it shows just in the Google searches of the Oculus Quest 2. Like, just the, the number of people looking for it has, has skyrocketed to unprecedented size for for the, uh, for VR. It's incredible. Um, but, you know, it would uh, it'd be nice if more people had it just, just to, to be able to get more games on. It's kind of like the Linux problem, right? For, for gamers, you know? Like, Linux is, uh, is a great operating system. I'm a huge fan of it. The only reason I don't play on it is because uh, I can't get a couple of things working on it. Uh, I can't get, uh, like, Photoshop working on it. I know you can do it. I don't know how. And it never works for me whenever I try. Um, You're out, mate. The heck? Oh, this is great, great. I thought he was way over there. I'm like, what the heck? Why do I hear footsteps? yourself up glad you made it back don't bleed on anything Closed. Go make a difference. Yep. Yeah. I'm back, and I've got some new tricks. I don't know how long I was muted for. Sorry. Um. Anyway, what I was talking about was uh, VR is kind of like Linux, 
because uh, my god we're just destroying them. I view as kind of like Linux because with Linux a lot of the reason why you don't play on Linux or see many people playing on Linux where did he go is because of uh, I, I lost them otherwise we would totally gotten is because of uh, they're just not being games on it but there aren't any games on it really because people aren't playing on it you know like there isn't a user base um, on on Linux to, to justify developing things for Linux uh, similar kind of thing with VR but the difference with VR is that uh, VR is made up of paying customers you have to buy the headset right you have to pay for the headset and pay for all of the things um, it isn't it isn't all about that that uh, open you know free software kind of stuff it's it's about VR you're a paying customer you're a consumer right uh, so there is a bit of incentive to make products for it because you get to have that customer base which while small are definitely willing to spend money um, but it's got, it's got the same kind of problem where there just isn't the player base, there isn't the the, the audience there for you to, to, to really make uh, something go really, really well with it. Which is, is, is unfortunate, for sure. Uh, oh, that's a good yard. Um, but it'll get there, it'll get there. So I think that VR is gonna, is, is gonna move quicker than uh, Linux even. Because That's it is a paying customer, because it it motivates you from the uh, from the consumer side, right? Because like you're having fun and uh, like games are being made for it, and these experiences are being made, and then people like me are talking about it and being like, "This is the coolest thing ever." Uh, and then you know, as a consumer, you're like, "I want to try that out," right? I want to try that out. There's there's like uh, it's an experience unlike anything you've had before. And uh, Linux is, is just like an experience you have had before, but worse. You know, if you're not if you're not into that kind of stuff, right? Um, so yeah, I think that VR is going to grow a little bit quicker because of that. But uh, it also incentivizes the uh, the actual people making headset devices like Steam, uh, uh, Facebook, and uh, you know. Microsoft, who has their their Windows mixed reality devices or whatever, and you know all these people who are making virtual reality headsets, it motivates them to invest in games and and game developers who are making content for their headsets, right? It it motivates them to to do that so that there is enough of a library of content for people to play on their stuff to to motivate their consumers to actually buy their headset, right? So there's money is going to be the difference between VR and Linux even though they are a very comparable um, they're, they're in a very comparable situation right now money is going to be the thing that sets them apart just because Linux has the absence of it which means uh, it's a lot harder to motivate people to do it uh, whereas with VR where money is involved it's a lot easier to motivate people to, to make products and, and stuff for it because money makes the world go round. Whether you like it or you don't, it's uh, it's a part of it's a part of life, you know. Um, so 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 uh, the the VR is going to move a little bit quicker than the Linux does, but I think that they are in similar similar situations anyway. Similar enough anyway. They're reasonably similar, sure. Um, but regardless, um, it's a really fun time, and. Yeah, it, it's it's like it's affordable. You know, it's no longer we're no longer in uh, early adopter fee territory. Anybody can afford it, and that's 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 the the beauty of it. Now, not everybody wants it badly enough to justify spending. It's still it's still you know it's not like the same price of coffee. It's still a payment. You're just, you're still buying like an expensive piece of hardware. Um, it's just no longer at the point where it's like beyond other purchases that your average consumer makes on the the you know regular your average like you know tech consumer um you know like like said TVs consoles even like pre-built computers keyboards to a certain extent even like it's 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 in a it's in a territory where it, it fits right in in the price of, of other 
devices that, that people are buying regularly. Phones, you know. It's 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 it's, it's very reasonably priced, which is is, is amazing. Um, it makes it a lot easier to recommend. Clearly, I bought one finally, right? Like that's that's a big change for me. Like literally, I saw the price of it, and I was like, four hundred bucks for, and it, it's like three hundred bucks for for Americans. Uh, it's four hundred bucks, four hundred sixty for for Canadians after taxes and delivery and all that. Um, for for me, from my experience anyway. Um, but like three hundred bucks for an American, like, bruh, that's 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 well within you know affordable. Easily. Easily. That's not to say that everybody can't afford it, or that everybody, if you can't afford it, you're, you know, poor or bad with your money or whatever. Like, yeah, everybody's got their own thing going on, right? But it's just really cool to see it in, in such an affordable position now, because I, I can recommend it to friends, and I've had, I've had a number of friends be like, really? Just that. And, like, lots of people in my family's lives are talking about them and picking them up and stuff. I've picked one up. My family might be buying my spare off of me. <laughs> like, it's it's just it's growing at a, a very rapid pace now, which is amazing. And it means that we might see that VR MMO that I talked about in the previous episode coming up eventually soon. Maybe, hopefully, maybe. Anyway, I don't know when I'm gonna not talk about VR in an episode. It's not gonna be today, clearly. I don't know. I'm 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 in love with it, dude. Beat Saber is, is probably my favorite game now. I love it. It's it's like if if it weren't for the physical restrictions, I'd be playing it like nine hours a day. But there are physical restrictions, so I can't play it nine hours a day. It's like seven calories a minute or something that you're burning while you're playing it. So like four hundred calories an hour. You know? I played it for nine hours, ten hours, or whatever. Like let's say ten hours. You know, it's like four thousand calories that I burn. If I eat the same amount I'm eating now, then I'm at a deficit of like, you know, forty five hundred calories or something stupid. That's not a healthy <laughs> deficit, so I'd have to eat more, which means I have to pay more for food. Which is a funny thing, right? When when the game that you pick up costs you money in just having to eat more food <laughs> just because it's like making you so much more active than than you otherwise would be that it actually affects your your like purchasing decisions when you go to the grocery store to like plan your food out for the week because it does i'm playing like two hours of beat saber a day that's that's like you know eh, maybe, maybe about a little less than a thousand calories a day that i'm burning on beat saber like straight up <laughs> and uh, it, it shows because I'm like drenched in sweat by the end of it, but uh, it's fun. It's fun, and I, I'd be playing more of it if I if I could. I just I can't because uh, again I don't want to to have to eat that much just to maintain my insane amount of uh, Beat Saber play. I could play that much, like physically I'm I'm fine to play more. I'd I'd have to wear shoes if I'm doing like that long, like to have a little bit of uh, support on the on the feet rather than just like standing on hardwood. Um, but, uh, please, I don't want to get shot by, by this, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, please, please. Um, this is okay, this is okay. Okay, cool. Uh, but the other physical restriction is, uh, like, the battery life of the headset only lasts about two hours. So I'm, I'm basically just playing Beat Saber until the battery dies, and then not playing anymore. <laughs> uh, and then there is the uh, the other restriction, which is the uh, the, the strap, which uh, isn't very comfortable and makes it a little bit of a bad experience after, like, too, too long. Um, but... Uh, that's that's a problem that's going to be resolved as I get the uh, a new strap. Which also, if I get the elite strap with the battery, then I guess the battery life would also be extended, and maybe I'll end up playing more just because of that. <laughs> like honestly, if it's comfortable and uh, the battery lasts longer, 
I don't get that like pressure on my forehead and nose area, I'll probably end up playing more than two hours of Beat Saber every single day because it is actually just that much fun. I don't think you can get burnt out on it either. It's not really like a burnout game, you know? It's more like a workout. It's kind of how I feel about it. I get up and I'm like, alright, time to, to go and do my physical activity. I wouldn't want to give it up, and if I were to give it up, I'd, I'd replace it with, with something else in VR, like Pistol Whip or... Um, like, I don't know, some some other VR game for, for like, fitness. Maybe, uh... I probably wouldn't want to get into it, but uh, there's like some boxing game. There's some boxing game. Thrill of the fight, I think. Thrill of the fight. That's a good workout, is what I've heard. I haven't played it yet myself. I'll probably pick it up and try it. I'm not sure I'd be so into it because I'm not into like boxing so much, but I don't know. Maybe it's awesome. <laughs> you know? Maybe it's sick. I don't know. Um... So I, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I'll end up, I don't know. Like, exercise is so easy to do now. This is really what it boils down to. Like, I used to have troubles motivating myself to, like, do something like that. Like, like go on a two-hour walk or whatever. Like, like the Beat Saber is about equivalent to jogging for, for calories burned is what I'm, uh, my understanding of it. Like, going on a two-hour jog sounds like not fun. Going on a two-hour Beat Saber jam like sounds amazing <laughs> anyway that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say i'll see you next time Bye bye